Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss on iNote. iNote stands for Index Note. It is actually a data structure which is used in a Unix style file system. So I will elaborately discuss what is iNote. So go to the computer screen. Today I will discuss the topic iNote okay so at first we should know what is inode inodes speculated to be short for index nodes right have been around since the introduction of the first unix file system around the late 1970s right they were adopted into linux in the 90s and for good reason there are an excellent way to keep track of how our files are stored and the method many systems are still based on today. An inode is a file data structure that stores information about any Linux file except its name and data, right? Data is stored on our disk in the form of fixed size blocks. If we save a file that exceeds a standard block our computer will find the next available segment on which to store the rest of our file okay over time that can get super confusing okay that is where inodes come in while they don't contain any of the files actual data it stores the files metadata including all the storage blocks on which the files data can be found right information contained in an inode like file size device on which the file is stored user and group ids associated with the file permission needed to access the file creation read and write timestamps location of the data attributes like permissions timestamp, ownership details, etc. of the file, a number of direct blocks which contains the pointers to first 12 blocks of the file, a single indirect pointer which points to an index block. If the file cannot be indexed entirely by the direct blocks, then the single indirect pointer is used, right? A double indirect pointer which points to the disk block that is a collection of the pointers to the disk blocks which are index blocks double index pointer is used if the file is too big to be indexed entirely by the direct blocks as well as the single indirect pointers right a triple index pointer that points to a disk block that is a collection of pointers each of the pointers is separately pointing to a disk block which also contains a collection of pointers which are separately pointing to an index block that contains the pointers to the file blocks right inodes are also independent of file names that means we can copy a single file rename it and still have it point to the same inode as the original okay the inode is a data structure in a unix style file system that describes a file system object such as a file or a directory each inode stores the attributes and disk block locations of the object's data file system object attributes may include metadata like times of last change access modification as well as owner and permission data okay now we talk about i not total size number of disk block address possible to store in one disk block equal to disk block size divided by disk block address okay small files need only the direct blocks so there is little waste in space or extra disk reads in those cases right medium sized files may use indirect blocks only large files may use of the double 
or triple indirect blocks and that is reasonable since those files are large anyway okay the disk is now broken into two different types of blocks one is your inode and another is data blocks there must be some way to determine where the inodes are and to keep track of the free inodes and disk blocks okay this is done by a super block okay super block is located at a fixed position in the file system the super block is usually replicated on the disk to avoid catastrophic failure in case of corruption of the main super block okay index allocation schemes suffer from some of the same performance problems as does linked allocation for example the index blocks can be cached in memory but the data blocks may be spread all over a partition right an inode is a data structure that stores various information about a file in linux such as the access mode read write execute permission ownership file type file size group number of links etc each inode is identified by an integer number an inode is assigned to a file when it is created an inode short for index node is a data structure linux uses to store information about a file each inode has a unique id that identifies an individual file or other object in the linux system right an inode is a data structure on a traditional unix style file system such as ext3 or ext4 storing the properties of a file and directories right linux extended file systems such as ext3 or ext4 maintain an array of these inodes called the inode table this table contains list of all files in that file system right linux and other unix like operating systems maintain consistency by treating everything as file even the hardware devices the keyboard mouse printers monitors hard disk even the directories are treated as files in linux the regular files contain data such as text music video etc okay other than regular data there are some other data about these files such as their size ownership permissions timestamp etc this metadata about a file is managed with a data structure known as an inode or index node right inode number is also known as index number an inode is a unique number assigned to files and directories while it is created the inode number will be unique to entire file system if we want to print or show the index number of a file then should use the command ls the ls command is used to list file and directories information the minus small i option with ls displays the inode number of each file we can combine it with minus small l option to list information in detail so in this example just write ls space minus i l and in that case the first column get the inode number of the file file or maybe a directory okay that means the first column gives the inode number whatever it is a file or a directory and we can also display a particular files inode as if we write ls minus i and then write the file name then we get the first column as the inode number of that file okay a file system release on data structures about the files as opposed to the contents of that file the former are called metadata data that describes data each file is associated with an inode which is identified by an integer often referred to as an i number or i note number right every linux file or directory has an i note and this i note contains all of the files metadata that is all the administrative data right 
inode number is also known as index number and inode is a unique number assigned to files and directories while it is created the inode number will be unique to entire file system right i hope that you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arquen thank you and bye bye